not our conversation word for word, but in broad strokes. You see, I thought I was done testing pen tips, but the ink seemed really innovative. It looked like they would have a better feeling, better precision, better control, but they did not just send me the inks. They sent me all their tips. And this stand, which is like the best thing I've ever tried. Maybe they were hoping I'd do a roundup of all of them. My pen tips reviews are stacking up and I'd hate to be typecasted. So if you would like to see a roundup of all the different tips, let me know in the comments and I'll do it for you. The new inks are precision made tips with a metallic tip. They come in sets of two in a cardboard box, so no plastic case this time. They are pretty much identical to a ballpoint tip, a sharp one. They are meant to be used with the pen mat, their removable paper-like screen protector. Review of that a few videos back. Pen Tips calls this combo ink and paper. With good reason, I might add, because this feels very much like a regular pen and paper. How much? Can't tell ya. Not because of lack of trying. I really wanted to know if I could feel the difference, so I switched back and forth, I tried making blind tests, but you always know when you're holding an Apple Pencil. All I can say is, it's very close. It's my favorite feeling tip by far. You see, one downside with tips in general, regardless of maker, is the thickness. You never get that precision you get from a real pen. You know how the line never really starts from the tip? and how that thicker tip always obscures your line a bit. Now the pen tips ink are pretty much a real pen, at least by appearance. So how about it? <sighs> so close to being a home run. It's still the same basic problem, but at least the tip doesn't obscure that much. Now I need to add a caveat here. I have only tested one fully functioning tip. The other arrived broken with the tip not firmly attached. It gives a clicking noise and it sinks in when you apply pressure and then pops out when you let go. It works to draw with, but the clicking and the sinking got annoying fast. So if you bought the pen tips ink and yours output a line at the very tip, let me know in the comments. The pen tips ink cost 20 euros, or a bit less if you use the link in the description. A good price considering they have a metal tip, so in theory they should see nowhere. Now you do have to use them with the pen mat, so if you don't have one already like me, that's adding an additional 30 euros. Now the inks may not wear down, but they will increase wear on your pen mat, and I confirmed this with pen tips. How much? I don't know. I have yet to wear down any paper like screen protector, but I also don't sit around drawing all day. If you have worn down a pen mat, let me know how long it took you. The pen tips ink was so close to being my favorite tip. I mean, it's just like three millimeters away from being perfect. That's an eighth of an inch for you Imperials out there. I'm torn. I mean, I love the feeling. They look good. It's just those three millimeters. If they for the version 2 could move the output of the line closer to the tip, they would be the best tips ever. I would use them for everything. Now go find out for yourself. Until next time.